How's it going everybody? This is Doom Kid. Today I'm just going to be showing you how to create custom story text for your Doom Wad using WACKED4. So you just start WACKED4 here. You go File, New. Now you can select Boom or Z Daemon if you want to use extended sort of Z Doom effects and things like railguns and all that special stuff. But if you just want vanilla and completely universal compatibility that'll run with any port, you select Ultimate Doom 1.9. And uh, this will create a dehacked patch that works for Ultimate Doom or Doom 2. So it, it works for both. So you don't need to worry about that. So you just click OK. And now you'll go right to Strings. This is where t most text-based things about the game are saved. And so you scroll down just a little bit until you see these really long bits here. And these are all of the text things for Doom 1 and Doom 2. If you want to change the text for Doom 1, you'll see the Doom 1 actually distinguishes between uppercase and lowercase letters, but Doom 2 is all uppercase, so that's an easy way to tell which is which. So, let's say I want to change the text that happens whenever I finish E1 M8. So, you see it has three characters left there? I can't make a story longer than this. If I make a story longer than this, it will cause the game to crash. So, we can see the reference for how long our lines should be up there. You can see roughly where they end, so we don't want to go any longer than about here. So let me just enter a little custom story. Doom Wack freaked out and ran everywhere. He was insane. He created some weird tutorials on YouTube. Have a good day. There we go. So we're just making a little test story here. It's much shorter than the default one, so it should work fine. I'm pushing that top line right to its edge, so that might actually go off the screen a little bit, but we'll go ahead and test that and find out. So we'll save this in our vanilla Doom 2 directory, since that's easy. And save it wherever your wad is. And I'll just call it story.de. Okay, so we'll close that. Now, if you want to make this just for Z Doom and PR Boom and source ports and stuff like that, then you you need to add it into a WAD file. So you use Slade. You'll go File New WAD Archive, and then you'll import that def file you just made. So it'll be wherever you saved it. I saved mine in the Doom Two directory. So it's story, but I'll change this. The lump when it's in your wad file has to be called dehacked. So we'll do that. Now that will allow it to work in source ports. Call this story, but it'll be a wad file rather than a dehacked file. So now we have story.wad and story.de. And you'll distribute it with both the wad and the dehacked file. We'll test it in Xandronum, since that is a source port that's ZDoom based. We'll just go right to E1M8. Oh no. Alright, let's see if our custom story works. Doom guy freaked out and ran everywhere. He went insane. He created some weird tutorials on YouTube.com. Have a rotten day. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.